Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can send a PDF document to reviewers using an email-based review process. This type of document review is most effective when only a few people are reviewing a document. Comments made to a shared PDF using this method must be manually imported back into the originating PDF by the review initiator. To start an email review, open the PDF to share in Acrobat, then click the Send for Email Review tool that appears in the Review panel of the Comment pane within the Task pane. The first time that you initiate a shared PDF review in Acrobat, the Identity Setup dialog box launches and you can enter identifying information about yourself so that the reviewers will know who has initiated the review. At a minimum, you must enter a valid email address into the email address field to proceed. After you've entered the identifying information, click the Complete button. In the Getting Started screen of the wizard that appears, the file name of the currently opened PDF is automatically shown in the Specify a PDF file to send by email for review field. To share a different PDF instead, you can click the adjacent Browse button to launch an open dialog box where you can find and select a different PDF to share. Then click the Open button in the dialog box to add it to the drop-down field shown in the Getting Started screen. After selecting a PDF to share, click the Next button. In the Invite Reviewer screen, you can type one or more email addresses into the large text field shown. These are the email addresses of the reviewers to whom the PDF will be sent. You must enter at least one valid email address to continue. Many users enter their own email address into this list as well. This can be helpful when learning to use the document review features in Acrobat because it will allow you to see exactly what other reviewers receive when invited to participate in your managed email review. To enter multiple email addresses, enter one email address on a line and then press the Enter key on your keyboard to move to the next line where you can type the next email address. You then repeat this process to enter one email address on each line. Alternately, you can click the Address Book button to open the address book for your associated email application, which you can use to select the email addresses of the reviewers if they're available. Then click the To button to add the selected email addresses. Then click the OK button in the address book after selecting your email addresses to add them to the large white text box in the Invite Reviewers screen. After you've entered all of the email addresses of the reviewers, click the Next button to continue. In the Preview Invitation screen, Acrobat will generate both an email subject title and a standard invitation message. You can highlight the text in either the subject or message fields and add to or replace the default text with your own. You must, however, send the exact same message to all the recipients of the invitation. When you've made your changes, click the Send Invitation button to finish. At that point, the Send Email dialog box opens so that you can select an email application to use. After making your selection, click the Continue button. Note that if you selected your default email software application, then the outgoing message notification message box launches to signify that the email invitations have been created. This message box lets you know that based on the send and receive settings of the selected email application, you may need to manually send the invitations. Read the message and then click the OK button to close it. If needed, you can open your email application and manually send the invitations to the reviewers. When reviewers receive the email invitations, the PDF is included as an email attachment. When a reviewer opens the PDF using Acrobat or Adobe Reader, 
it will launch the PDF file and show commenting tools with reviewing instructions at the top of the PDF. As your reviewers make comments and reply back to you via email by clicking the Send Comments button within their copy of the PDF, you can open their received email attachments to import the comments back into your master PDF file. In this type of document review process, participating reviewers cannot see the comments of other reviewers or interact with other reviewers. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.